Semeno. Semeno. So. Uh, Hello, everyone. Yeah, this is our Mongolian class Q and A time. Yes. Yeah. So. So today we will answer one question about the Mongolian dictionary. Yes. Now I will going to read the question. And this is Kathy. Yeah. And I may have missed it, and if so, my apologies. Where can I buy the dictionary, please? So we have a dictionary. Yeah. So dictionary is about the traditional Mongolian script, and yeah, yeah because traditional Mongolian script and English dictionary is quite uh, rare. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say. So here I've searched a few dictionaries. Most of them are available online. Yeah. yeah. So this one is called Baller. Baller. Dictionary. dictionary. Yeah, Baller Dictionary. In Baller Mongolian is Baller Tel. So this is an online dictionary. Yeah. So it's uh, because it's online, it's free. It has the Mongolian, English, German, Korean, Korean, Japanese. Japanese. So, for example, if you can we go to the next slide? Yeah. So if you search the word Mongol, Mongol, yeah, mm -hmm. you will find Cyrillic here, yeah. as well as the traditional Mongolian script here. Yeah. So this is, I think, a bit of helpful for people learning traditional Mongolian script. Yeah. And then it's also have the uh, pronunciation here if yeah. you press here it will read mongol yeah <laughs> okay so next slide next slide yeah and then the another example if you search dictionary it will show you for a few examples first one is talbichik talbichik yeah here it's cyrillic talbichik and Tal then the traditional mongolian talbichik talbichik uh, or tal Tal. yeah so uh yeah this is the one called the polar tell available online and then here is the second dictionary yeah. also online and then this one is a bit advanced because it's all Cyrillic so yeah. you it's required people have the quite advanced level of Cyrillic yeah, so, so if it, you don't know Cyrillic just don't worry about this one yeah so it's called the Mongol tell Mongol. Yeah. Tell. Actually, it have two. One is Mongolian language dictionary, and yeah. another is Mongolian historical term dictionary. Yeah. 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 Can we move to the next one? I will show some example. For the good thing of this one, but it's still from the absolute beginner, this doesn't work because you have to type in type here using the traditional Mongolian script. That's yeah. even quite challenging for me. <laughs> <laughs> so not to mention about the absolute beginner, but just just in case. Yeah. For example, I put in the Pichik here. Pichik is the book, all right? Yeah. Here, a list of stuff will come out, then you yeah. can search it. Next slide. And then I've also uh, searched Nara's name. Yeah. Here, it's Nar. Nar. Nar is the pronunciation, but actually it's saying Nara. 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 Yeah. So this is the traditional Mongolian script. OK, yeah. can we go to the second one? And then the, the Mongolian uh, historical term dictionary. Uh, this one have the one good thing is, is it will going to read the content. Yeah. So you can actually literally here in the reading yeah. it will help you uh, uh, of course this is only for people who understand the Cyrillic yeah yeah this is called Uvr Uvr Mongol Mongol yes I mean Inner Mongolia you can see the map here Inner yeah. Mongolia yeah yeah that's where I'm from Inner Mongolia Uvr Mongol yeah. Uvr Mongol so if you are interested in history or want want to listen the sound with the uh, Cyrillic, you can come here. Yeah. Then now we're going to move on to those uh, not uh, online dictionary. This is published, the real dictionary, kind of printed dictionary published in 1960. <laughs> 1960. This is a quite old dictionary. Yeah. And it's called M Mongolian English Dictionary. So, who is the author? It's compiled by. Matai Halta John 
Gom Bojab Hangin, yeah. Sergei Kasatkin, yeah. mm. and Ferdinand D. Lessing. Yeah, so we, we thanks to, to these people who have done great work. Yeah. And next slide. Yeah, it, this is the content. Yeah. It's have the Mongolian alphabet as well as Mongolian English dictionary and some other stuff as well. Yep. So inside it, it have a Mongolian alphabet kind of table. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, you don't need to bother about this one. Yeah. Okay. This is how the dictionary looks like inside. Yeah. It have the uh, traditional script here. Yeah. And then the uh, pronunciation here yeah in roman alphabet yeah. as well as cyrillic, cyrillic. Yeah, and it, then english yeah this is the uh, explanation yeah. for example this is the mongol mongol in english mongol mongolian or mongolia yeah and then have the have few ex examples here yeah yeah uh, and another word is for example this is the tel 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 yeah, tell in Roman alphabet as well as Cyrillic. Yeah. And then it's uh, traditional script here. Yeah. And then tell the meaning is mirror or metal plate. Yeah, this is the literal meaning. Yeah. And tell also have the meaning of the dictionary. Yeah. So Mongol tell. Mongol tell. Means Mongolian dictionary. Yeah. Yeah, it's not meaning Mongolian mirror. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the one dictionary. Yeah. Uh, uh, printed dictionary available online you can have the pdf free yeah okay here's another one it's called mongolian english dictionary in three volumes by folk boberg yeah so this one is also i think printed quite a while ago it's called uh, mongol anglus can tell which the mongol english dictionary so this content is, is have the uh, Mongolian alphabet and the dictionary itself and yeah. some other stuff as well. So this is how it looks like inside the dictionary. Uh, this one as well. This one is with the start with the w. Uh, uh, yeah. English and then the Mongolian here. Yeah. Yeah. So we choose an example. Can we go to the yeah? For example. This is afraid to feel. Yeah, afraid to feel. So I have the uh, traditional Mongolian script here. Yeah. And then good thing is have the uh, spelling here. Yeah. Ayoho. 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 But Ayoho. Uh, the kind of disadvantage you don't have the pronunciation. Actually, we write Ayoho is yeah. correct, but we say Ech. Ech. Yeah. Ayoho. Ayoho. Yeah. And for this, another one is after. After so is ho yina. Ho yina. Yeah, we write ho yina. Yep. We speak ho yin. Ho yin. Ho yin. Ho yin. Yeah. So this is the second one. And uh, please go to the Google, yeah. <laughs> and then you search this one. Then you 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 will find this resource. I found all of the dictionary above from here, and then you can get it free. Yeah. Free PDF stuff. Yes. The old and new new one. It's on, of course online. You can just use it online. Yeah. The printed one. You can get it the PDF. Yeah. Okay. Mm, the next yeah. one. Yeah, final one. This is, of course, this is not the English. This is the <laughs> Mongolian Japanese dictionary. Yeah. But I brought this dictionary here is because this dictionary is have a very good thing here because it had the the word component here, right? Yeah. For example, this one is nagatom. Nagatom. It have the n a g a t o m. Yeah. Nagatom. Nagatom. So I think most of the people for the beginner is confusing the com component, right? Yeah. So if you can have this one, it's pretty good. And then have the pronunciation spelling But here. the downside is it's like 
not in English. Yeah, downside is not not English. This is yeah. the, this for people in Japanese. So you can find this. It's also free. You can find this on the Japanese National Library. And the Nadam, I, I choose this word because Nadam is the biggest fest festival in Mongolia as well. Yep. In autumn, there's uh, and not autumn. Uh, uh, July and August, there's lots of Nadam in Mongolia. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's almost the ending season of the Nadam. Yeah. Yeah. So here in Mongolia, in Japanese, Nadam it means asobu, right? Yeah. Asobu. Asobu. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this is uh, a brief kind of explanation about the Mongolian. Yeah, the Mongolian. I'm mostly focused on the Mongolian English dictionary. Yeah. Of course, I know there's our viewers is from all over the world. Mm -hmm. There's Italian, uh, maybe Mongolian Italian dictionary, Mongolian French dictionary, Mongolian German dictionary. All right. Yeah. If you have any idea or better uh, resource, please comment and provide the, uh, the link or anyway some information yeah. so we can share here yeah so i hope this is help yeah and then yeah i will keep searching this information yeah. until you get a proper dictionary for <laughs> the beginner all right yeah. all of them overall all of them are useful but still disadvantages have, yeah have the advantages uh, and the disadvantages both sides yeah yeah Okay. Okay, yeah. so bye. Uh, bye.